Hey everybody, it's Travis from Zeke Surf and Paddle Sports. Real quick, just wanted to show off the new Subskate Endurance Boards. Um, these are a division of hand boards, um, but geared more towards the long distance endurance skater versus the traditional hand board, which is more for the car v surf experience. So the Subskate is just a more pumpable, version of a handboard. It's got its own paint job, looks like a starboard sprint race board. Um, it has the different wheelbase options. So you can see the additional holes that are pre-drilled into the deck. Um, the wheel cutouts are lengthened, extended so that you don't get wheel bite no matter where the truck is mounted. Having the wheelbase options just makes it where you can have the board be more versatile and make it easier to turn or easier to go straight. The um, trucks are a little different than the normal handboard, the setup at least. The normal handboards with the HST trucks are set up at 40 degrees in the front and 40 degrees in the back. So this gives you that super carvy, surfy, fun feeling. The subskates have the 40 degree truck up front and in the rear they come with a narrower truck 160 millimeters versus 200 so it's narrower but it's also set up at zero degrees so the truck will pivot with the leaning of the board as you as you turn it but it doesn't actually turn the board or scrub off any speed so when you're pumping it and you're leaning the board back and forth and you're getting it to pull itself down the road with the front truck, the back truck's just hanging out, swinging but not dragging you down. So it's a very easy to pump board and just allows you to save energy on those long distance events. The two size options are 45 and 60. So they're, if you like the big board, a little bit of flex, Plenty of room to walk around the 60s for you. If you want that pumpable configuration, but you want it to be a, a little bit easier to turn, or you've got some tight spots, the 45 is probably the better option. Handboards is now also offering three different truck options. So the boards come with a zero degree truck, 160 millimeters. There's a 20 degree option, which is the one I've been playing around with. That's why it's got wheels on it. Makes it a little bit easier to turn because it'll start to turn from the rear along with the front and still retain some pump ability. And then there's the 40 degree truck that you can buy if you just want to turn it into a carving machine. Put the 40 degree truck on it. So there you go. You can kind of see the angle differences there. The zero, the 20 in the middle, and the 40 on the bottom. Super versatile. You can make the boards do whatever you want to do, whether it be carving or pumping and getting that endurance long distance stuff in, or maybe a little bit of both with the 20 degree truck. Having the truck options too also makes it a little bit easier um, for some beginners. The zero degree truck isn't as tight turning, so it's a little bit more user friendly for some beginners, and you can kind of step them up to the 40 by throwing the 20 degree truck on the back and having them work their way up. Everybody's different. I thought the 40 was plenty easy to ride when I first hopped on it. I really like the 20 degree setup in the back because again, it keeps some of the pump ability, um, but it gives you some maneuverability back out of the board. But it's all good. It's all your personal preference. The board's designed to be versatile. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you.